things have the tendency to seek after other things like money, fame, people, recreation, entertainment, material things and all that. But you know what? All those things only lead to emptiness. I have seen people seeking after so many things and accumulate wealth and they die very miserably. Why? Because all those things without God, you have been seeking the wrong stuff. That's what the Bible says in Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things shall be added. Hallelujah. Added. So you are not supposed to seek things. Seek God and these other things shall be added. Seek God and money will be added. Seek God and a good family will be added. Seek God and a good home and a good car. Whatever it is you need, God will add to you as you seek him. But don't seek after money and cars and houses and education without seeking God. God will never take the second position. He wants the first position. Amen. All those things lead to emptiness. However, seeking after God brings more value to our lives than anything else on this earth. Amen. If there is anything I don't want to lose, it is the presence of God. It is walking with the God. Hallelujah. I would rather not have anything else, but let me have God. I would rather have Jesus than have the silver and gold. Amen. Because these things are crucial. Think about three things. If you're going to seek him, you must be hungry for him. Number one, be hungry for God. Can you say with me, God, give me hunger for you. I know some of you have a great appetite for some food. And when you see that food, even your lips begin to shake. And, and you're wondering, how can I get that food? When I got married... I didn't like Kugari. Let me confess. But through inference, today I like Kugari. <laughs> I was like Reverend Jim. I didn't like Kugari. But you know what? Actually, my wife would make Kugari and make something else for me. After walking with her for a number of years, talk of the power of inference. People change people, especially wives. Wives can change people. <laughs> Hallelujah. Today I enjoy Ugari, especially with the Maziwalala. <laughs> that is fermented milk. Give me Ugari and Maziwalala, and I will be home and I will be happy. Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, I'm saying this to say the way we get hungry and we desire some food. Let's also grow an appetite for our God. Let's have a desire. David says, I wake up in the middle of the night to seek after you. Early in the morning, I seek for you. As the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs for you. 